A new synthetic killer drug known as Flaca is spreading rapidly across the United States and already causing an epidemic of overdose fatalities and acts of violence. Talk about Flaca. Flaca. The drug is called Flaca. Some have dubbed it the insanity drug. And it's everywhere. It's been described as the scariest drug in the world. More powerful than heroin or cocaine. This is a synthetic drug that can alter your state of mind, raising excited delirium, body temperature, and literally losing their mind. They're all experiencing like superhuman kind of strengths. Or it takes six policemen to hold them down. That's a problem. Psychotic breakdowns, hallucinations, aggressive, violent behavior, cannibalism and self-mutilation, indiscriminate violence. When Flocka takes over, we are living in the context of the end of the age. We are a nation under judgment. Welcome to stage one of the zombie apocalypse. It's been long theorized that controlled substances can bring people closer to the spirit world. Sometimes, however, what comes out of that experience isn't what you'd expect. And right now, our society is being plagued, dominated by an epidemic of controlled substances. In the 1970s, people were talking about peace and love, but nowadays, people are coming back from bad trips and total psychosis. The number of overdoses are up, as are the cases of total zombification, i.e. demonic possession. The dark side opens people up to such possessions through lack of faith and environmental conditions. And while this isn't so much an issue with people of faith or orthodox practitioners, if your foundation is public education, if your dogma is militant atheism, substances like bath salts or flaca can be the ingredient that pushes you over the edge, an edge that you will never come back from. Weaponized substances such as bath salts and spice are being mixed into just about everything these days cigarettes, chocolates, party drugs, with the intended purpose of fucking you up permanently. These are not the days to be experimenting with new things. These are not the days to be a party kid. Nefarious agendas are at play and just about everything out there these days is being spiked with chemicals to do you in. This recent craze of legal highs, for example, has become epidemic in proportion. Coupled with the outbreak of pharmaceutical abuse, heroin abuse, meth abuse, this all has the potential to doom an entire generation like never before. Our message is clear. Don't be a guinea pig. Whatever is out there circulating on the streets these days is experimental in nature. Cities are receiving experimental batches so that the effects can be recorded and analyzed. Now we'd like to think that most of you out there have the common sense to avoid these types of substances. But if not, let this be a fair warning to you. If what you're into is not 100% natural, if your surroundings and mental state is not 100% positive, Positive. Whatever you're thinking about is not worth the experimentation. Even alcohol has the potential of channeling in evil spirits. If you go to a liquor store in British English society's hard liquor is called spirits. And it's called spirits for a very good reason. Again, these are gateway substances. And when they're added to the atheist psyche, anything is possible. If you've ever seen somebody turn bright red while drinking, you're basically watching demonic forces take over. Most times, the affected individuals are unaware. And while most of us dismiss their drunken behavior as simply being drunken behavior, there is something else going on. The dark side is constantly trying to induce what's called mutation by design. It's the main reason why everything you buy is laced with chemical or unnatural substances. They call the food GMOs, with the intended purpose of changing the composition of people from a natural state to an unnatural state, from a natural vibration to an unnatural vibration. And while this gets into the metaphysics of the world at large, what you're seeing here isn't natural, it isn't safe, and it isn't just psychosis. It's what happens when you stare into the abyss, and when the abyss stares back. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance.